We are going to create a region valid 3D and add mesh instance as a child and set it as a sphere. After that we will add a sphere collision shape and we will scale down the mesh and collision shape so it can fit in the hole. We are going to add a camera and we will set the position and rotation to our liking. After that we are going to add a script to it. In this script we set the camera to ignore the parent's transformations, otherwise the camera will rotate violently. In the process function we have declared a camera follow function to follow our golf ball. Last but not least is the camera raycast function. This function will help us to translate the mouse position from the screen in our 3D world. Next we are going to add a marker 3D node and add a mesh instance as a child to it. We will set the mesh as a quad and shift it by 0.5 on the Z axis and we rotate it by minus 90 degrees on the X axis. Then we rename the marker as a scalar and change its scales to 0.1. This will be our power indicator. We also can set the Z scale to 0.01 to hide the indicator. Now we are going to add a physics material property for the golf ball. I already tested the values so I will quickly enter them, but you feel free to experiment with what suits you. Then we are going to attach a script to the rigid body. After that we will add an input event signal to help us determine when the mouse intersects with the golf ball. In this script we set the scaler to ignore the parent's transformations. Next in the on input event signal we check if the golf ball is selected. In the input function after the mouse is released we calculate the speed and shoot the ball in the given direction. Then in the process function we have declared our scaler follow function and the pull matter function where we calculate the force of the mouse pull. Last but not least we will add to our playing field a static body with a collision shape. And we scale it as big as possible. Then we set the static body on the second collision layer. The static body will be used as a drawing board for our raycast, otherwise we will have some inconsistencies with the pull matter function. And that's it. If the tutorial was useful, leave a like and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I wish you a wonderful week.